Hello and welcome back to Forts and today we are going to be playing around with the latest update to Extra Things Plus Plus and there'll be a link to it in the description below if you guys don't already have it downloaded but there's uh, been a few updates to it now a lot of these updates aren't exactly new uh, I just haven't covered them on the channel before and so I'm not going to be doing things like hey hey this is this new weapon because I know a lot of you guys are just going to yell at me for saying hey this weapon isn't new so instead of doing that I'm just going to show you guys uh, one, one pretty cool use of it and and uh, we're going to be going with the, the fragmentation cannon this time around because I like doing uh, this particular meme. And this is a meme that we've done a lot on this channel. And it's a lot of fun for everyone and a lot of fun for me, most importantly. We're going to be doing uh, tier 3 fragmentation cannons. Uh, mostly because fragmentation cannons seem to have a kind of inherent bonus when tier 3'd. In that the uh, massive inaccuracy or imprecision is of the tier 3 is offset just by the uh, well massive amount of splash damage that the fragmentation does as you remember the fragmentation cannon when it detonates on something sprouts into it's something like 10 fragments each is pretty much another cannon shell on its own and they just go off in a vertical on a, in a direction forever so if it were to like if my tier 3 were to hit right here it would go off everywhere this guy would get hit by like two cannon rounds this guy probably get hit by like three and then he'd come all the way back over here and probably hit me so this is going to be a mess and a half and you know what i am okay with this because there's there's no no better way to do it than to get messy now this does mean that we're going to have to be able to face tank weapons like the, the fragmentation cannon which is currently the favorite for everyone so i'm expecting to be able i'm expecting to take a lot of these hits and to uh to work toward that direction i'm um i'm focusing very much so on my economy as you guys notice i'm i've got all these mines here i've sold off all the things just to get the economy out faster because if i don't get it out right now and get it to the fastest possible then um uh, <laughs> we're gonna not have as much much ability to rebuild our walls when we start getting hit by these. As Lord knows, going for tier 3s is, uh, is not a winning strategy, but it's it's a fun one. And you know, I, I like I like using it, so this is this is my life now. Alright, so let's go ahead and set these up. Uh, this is actually not a great base for tier 3s. Um, let me slide this guy forward. I'll try to build them over here. Okay, so I'll, 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 I'll figure it out and a moment. Um, a couple of the things to note is that the fragmentation cannon is extremely expensive, so I'm focusing on not, well, I'm not focusing so much on doing my usual technology rush so much as just building more infrastructure here. I want to move this battery, but I don't want it to be down there. Alright, I'll put it right next to the core so when everything explodes, I, I go with it for sure. And then we'll start building out front this way. Like so. There we go, that should cover that up. We are. Like this, we'll build our turbines all the way out here with sandbag defenses here. Yep. Like right about there is it. Should be it. Ish. It warped a little bit, but eh. It'll be fine. How much how much damage did we do here? And it's not that bad. Yeah, that's actually really good still, so we're, we're fine. Alright, nice. So now we all we have to do is build a platform for the tier 3s. Let me sell this guy off. Build this up. Like so. Do this. This. And then start our tier 3 process. For the time, it is about 4 minutes, so we are not terribly behind, but we do have a lot more economy for it. Uh, this will shave off a few seconds... Uh, well, delay us by a few seconds, so we could be getting hit by cannons uh, shortly. I believe we can get, we believe we can survive a vanilla cannon shot here, so nothing, nothing too much to worry about. But it's something worth noting. Uh, not that I expect anyone to go for vanilla cannons when these OP cannons are here. They are, they're quite strong. They are. Um, very very well known within the community about now and it's it's to a point where when this mod is selected that like, people just leave lobbies because <laughs> it's kind of rough out here guys but we'll you'll get to see them in action here i probably should have covered these on the channel earlier all right so we have one tier three ready to go uh ideally i want two but i don't think i'm going to be able to fit a second one here without doing some really um interesting shenanigans all right uh oof. if i'm going to do this i don't want that battery there for sure let me fit this right over here. If I can. 
Because if this cannon swings and touches that wall and explodes, it's going to take out a chunk of my base into the batteries there. Yeah, it's going to get even worse. Let me go ahead and put down the Eckbert Center so I can start working on... Okay, that's in the way. Uh, let's just put this here. This is fine. So I can start getting these guys upgraded and keep my base efficiency all nice and tight. I'm going to need to start building up my defenses super quick. All right, let's go this way. What are they doing? Uh, that is an orbital structure. Uh, okay, so that means we're going to have to defend against uh, orbital strikes. Uh, orbital strikes, I don't think I've covered those on the channel either. Those are relatively new. They um, basically call down nukes from orbit, and it's really strong because it's not just like one nuke, it's a lot of nukes. And uh, you boy, is it is it dangerous? Is, if you guys thought drunk nukes were bad, wait until you see these things. Okay, so that is a laser at the six minute mark. So that's a not terribly greedy laser rush, but it's some something that we are prepared for. Our fragmentation cannon is ready to go, so let us just get this all set up, aimed, and fired. Uh, we'll see. If, so I'm trying to aim for something like this guy. Oh, he just put that down, so he's delayed. Uh, team, watch for orbital. Go. Oh, he's got a lot of energy shields. Oh! boy you guys saw that fragmentation come out and that just cleared everything there and that's what that's what we're looking for to deal with here um let me see is the upgrade center completed you are let's do this i know i was floating resources i'm allowing this to happen put another one of these guys here to defend you with this <laughs> how do you fire oh my uh he didn't have trouble last round firing he must be experiencing some kind of glitch let me get these guys upgraded there we go and then I want to refire same position so I can aim for, aim for this. Oh dear, teammates having a bad time. Alright, refire same position. Uh, these things do suffer the same uh, side effects of the standard cannon and that they uh, they kind of have kind of a very large degree of inaccuracy. So we'll, we'll figure out. Yeah, it exploded over here. It still, still did some damage over the place. Oh dear, so that was a direct fire fragmentation cannon. That did a lot. Why are you not repairing? Okay, well he's relying on his uh, repair base, which is a bad idea. This fire still spreads outside the range of the repair base, so good luck with that. You're gonna need it. Uh, that repairing, extinguishing sound is gonna be going for a little while. Go ahead and set up another one of these cannons right here. Fragmentation. Go. And I wanna do... Nope, 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 nope. Stop, uh, stop deleting. Oh boy, that was close. There we go, now. Let's not collapse the base. That's great. This is going to affect my efficiency a little bit. So I'm going to swing the cannon around a little bit. All right, first off, let's swing back and fire. Okay. So I don't want this to be in the way of the fans. Notice how this is going to drop my turbine efficiency. So what I'm going to do is swing you to and fro to drop you down. And hope it doesn't hit the wall. Go. Ooh, fragmentation cannon direct hit. There we go. That'll do it. Now, next up, I want to do the same thing over here and attach you to these guys. It's got it. Wrong node, come on, attach, 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 attach. Alright, you get it. You get it. You get to cooperate. He doesn't want to cooperate. There he goes. And with this, he should swing over here. And this guy, over here. We don't collide with the wall. Oh dear. So close. So close, so far away. Okay, so we've got to retry this. But first, let me fire this guy. I need to aim further out now. Let's try right there. And this is why I didn't want that that battery there, guys. I said it was, it was going to be bad. Okay, so let's try this once more. Because I need to drop him down so he's not in the way of the turbines. Otherwise, I'm going to have a really bad time here. Let me go ahead and just fortify the front a little bit. Here we are. Looks like uh, we did get a decent hit, but nothing really terribly exciting. Um, by decent hit, I mean complete miss. It's just a fragmentation cannon, so it, uh, it hits things anyways. Like so... And here, and here. And fragmentation cannon, like so. Let's 
fire you. Go. Let's see where you land this time. And... Come on. Ooh! That was a good hit. Alright, so... This is gonna be some nukes. Yep, that is specifically the orbital strike. It goes up and then splits into like... Eight nukes. And then comes back down. It's really bad for all everyone involved. And uh, let's see if we can defend against this. Uh, here we go. Here we go. It looks like it's coming at me. There's three down. And there's the rest of them down. Alright, we are cleared. Cleared to go for now. Let's keep you firing. You're in a good spot. Let's do this real quick. Ah, uh, It is possible for me to leave this here. But look at the turbine efficiency, guys. I can't, I can't leave this here, guys. This has to move. I'm sorry. Okay. Let's do this. Bring you down. All right. Swing right next to the wall. Oh. Nice shot. Fragmentation cannons. They're so much fun to work with. Okay, now, are you going to hit that? You should not hit that, as long as I get it in the right swing. Sounds like another orbital strike coming down. Alright, uh, blew myself up with the, with the fragmentation cannon. Uh, this is uh, one of the dangers of these things. They are extremely powerful. Now, unfortunately, I was the primary anti-air for the team. Ooh, oh, never mind. I didn't realize these were there. Those probably been there a while. Let's see if the team can manage this. Oh dear. Oh my. That's uh, really rather unfortunate. Fragmentations. So much fun, guys. This is, this is one of the things that makes these cannons, uh, interesting. They just kind of go through everything. Like, they will go through a couple layers because they're a regular cannon, and then they'll detonate and take everything else around it with it. It's so strong. Oh, Lear, here comes another orbital strike. We're up to round two, and I want to be doing some more damage with these fragmentation cannons. So this time, instead of going for tier threes, I want to see how many of them we can we can land at the same time. And that means that means we're going for uh, well, uh, see if we can get all the way up to that triple. I suspect the game will not last long enough for us to go all the way up to triple fragmentation cannon, but uh, we're gonna try for it. So I need to go again with this very uh, economic heavy kind of build just to make sure that we can sustain building so many of these cannons. Let's go do this. There we go. And then start working on our technology. Here we are. Um, go for go for flak tech, the armory for flak technology because uh, we're probably, let's be real here, we're probably not going to be building swarm missiles at all. Go. Sell you off, put you down. Nice. All right this and then continue going with our minds and such effects now i want to get another mine next or let's do another mine next uh metal is pretty much always going to be our limiting factor it's just kind of just kind of how it is let's see now i suspect they're going to be going for more orbital shenanigans because uh <laughs> i don't know if you guys saw it but the last round it gets it gets kind of kind of game endy really quick the moment you bring out the orbital weapons, it's very difficult to come back from, to uh, survive and come back from those kind of hits. 
So we're going to try to get out this, these cannons and prevent them from going that far. So to build these cannons, I will build them on top of my turbines here. So I'll have a nice, strong, sturdy line of turbines, then all the cannons in the world on top of them, or three of them, starting with two, because these suckers are expensive. It's 1,500 metal per fragmentation cannon. So it's not like, it's not like we're not getting metal. It's not like we're, we're not spending the money here. It's not like this is, you know, this cheap thing. Suddenly you just candy caps it. No, 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 no. These things are expensive. And boy, are they worth it. Let's go ahead and put down our munitions plant, our cannon production facility. And then we shall continue on. There we go. Nope, 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 nope. Keep, keep the pattern, build this up. Stabilize you. Get another one of these guys down. Go. And then batteries, and I need two more storages. Come on, come on. Storage, and... Here we go. One more storage. Then I'll start getting the batteries. I want to put a battery here. We can put batteries down here now, so when things collapse and things go horrible, we can we don't have to worry about it. Because nothing's gonna nothing's gonna touch these batteries unless we're already gone. Sell off this guy so he's not next to our core. And then cross brace these things. And build a cannon production or cannon placement location. Go. Nice. Anything exciting out of them? Uh looks like that's gonna be from missiles, which is Always concerning. It's never never a good sign when there's already someone building a location for missiles. Oh dear, oh my. Uh, let's just start saving up to get our cannon down. I'm going to focus him down real quick because I don't want to deal with getting shot by that many nukes. Really not in my interests today. This try to get this cannon down super quick at least before the four minute mark if possible that way we can have it good to go by the time most players will be getting out their their heavy weapons yes, yes. there we go nice i don't want that there i want a door here you door 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 So we know uh, top player is going to be going for missiles because you don't... Alright, well maybe he's not using it all for missiles. I'll just put something there. So we have possible missile... Okay, well I guess he's just using it for economy and then rushing orbital, which is uh, probably just as scary. If not scarier. So we'll, we'll have to take that into account. Let us start building out our defensive walls here. Just space all the things. I'm not too worried about making it dense, not too worried about using metal here, as let's be real. Uh, most of the destruction from these rounds are going to come from missiles and orbitals and such, so as long as we have defenses against aerial events, then we should be, should be okay. Uh, we can expect some fragmentation cannons. Oh dear, this player... You know, at least he's got a pretty thick pretty thick walls to tank against a few hits because he's not going to be dealing damage anytime soon. Uh, let's get another fragmentation cannon set up here. At least get it down before the before the bullets start flying. Let's get a couple machine gunners. Oh, there's the first fragmentation cannon. Knew that was coming. Go. Activating commander ability. That's bonus build speed and production. Should be able to get this guy down pretty quick. I just want to put him down before I do much of anything else. There we go. And then the, this fragmentation cannon came from this player, so let's go ahead and blow him away. Yeah, we took out his cannon. We're good. And no secondary explosions. But we are we are safe for the moment. Let's get our doors on these guys. I definitely triple door in these. Oh! Oh, that was a nice shot. Looks like looks like our player over there. Going for the uh, orbital didn't didn't actually properly 
defend his core or really do much of any kind of defense for his core. So he's going to be he's going to be taken out. Uh, I imagine his defense was designed to take a vanilla cannon hit and not a fragmentation cannon hit, which is well what he needed to defend against. So the only player that hasn't had his base gutted is this middle player here. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. All right, we cleaned off all of his defenses, but no actual no actual collapse. Thankfully, we have another cannon coming up here pretty soon. Yep, uh, he hits real hard. This is why we have all of this. Let me let me um, do this real quick. Good, yeah, that's better. That's so much better. Okay, uh, let me um. um Good. Okay, you, with the fragmentation cannon, need to go away. There we go. Just take him out entirely. One player remaining, and he has no weapons, so it's just kind of... Kind of start knocking away his front segments. This is... This is what I was looking for here. And he's gone! Alright! Well, that is the Fragmentation Cannon, boys. Make sure to check back next episode when we start experimenting with the other weapons available in this mod, such as the Orbitals. But then, I'll see you guys later.